breaking news out of Perry in central Iowa. That's where authorities are investigating a shooting at the local high school. Perry is in Dallas County. It's about 40 miles northwest of Des Moines. KCRG TV 9's Danielle Wagner joins us in studio with what we're learning so far about this school shooting. Danielle? Jackie, so far details are scarce. Law enforcement officials briefed on the situation tell ABC News at least one person is dead and at least two other people were hurt. However, during a press conference just about an hour ago, the Dallas County Sheriff only said there are multiple victims. The extent of their injuries is unknown. He also said there is no further danger to the community. We're still unclear of exactly how many are injured what the extent of those are, but we're working on that right now. There is no further danger to the public. The community is safe. Uh, we're just now working backwards, trying to figure out everything that happened and make notifications. The sheriff said authorities are planning to have another press conference. That's expected to happen around 2 p.m. What we do know at this hour is the shooting happened just after 7.30 this morning, before the school day started. This is also the first day Perry High students returned from winter break. One woman told reporters at the scene her son was hit in the back and the arm. Jody Kurth said her son knew the shooter and he was in the lunchroom when he was shot. Uh, actually, it was a text message this morning from my daughter and it was absolutely horrifying. <laughs> One of the worst moments in my entire life, but the best phone call I got was saying that they were okay. Thank I'm God. glad that they're okay. Kurth said she's lived in Perry for seven years and never thought something like this would happen in her town. Again, Jackie, authorities are planning to hold another press conference around 2 o'clock this afternoon. KCRG TV 9 will have that live on air and streaming on KCRG.com. A vigil is also expected tonight. Reporting in the studio, Danielle Wagner, KCRG TV 9 News.